Once upon a time, in the beautiful Sunder Kingdom, there lived an old man. This old man was poor, but he had something special that caught everyone's attention. A beautiful white horse. This horse was not just any horse, it was unique, and people from far and wide admired its beauty. The king of the kingdom, however, was not pleased with the old man's possession. He felt a tinge of jealousy because this white horse was extraordinary, unlike any other in the entire state. Even the surrounding states didn't have such a magnificent horse. The king, wanting to have this prized possession, tried to buy the horse from the old man. He offered a high price, even in the form of gold coins, multiple times. But the old man was not swayed by the tempting offers. To everyone who approached him, he said, This horse is not just a horse, it is a member of my family. It's not a commodity, I cannot sell a family member for the sake of money. Despite the envy and attempts to buy the horse, the old man stood firm in his decision. One morning, however, disaster struck. The old man discovered that his beloved horse was missing from the stable. Panic set in, and people started searching everywhere, questioning others in the hope of finding the horse. News of the missing horse spread like wildfire throughout the state, and many people gathered, adding insult to injury. Some commented, We always knew this would happen. The old man is so poor and weak. How could he protect such a precious horse? A man even laughed and said, You've suffered a lot. If only you had sold the horse to the king, you would have had a good amount of money and a comfortable old age. However, the old man didn't react to anyone's words. He simply said, Whatever is, everything is fine. The only truth is that the horse is not in the stable. The rest will see what happens. A month passed, and then to everyone's surprise, one night, the missing horse returned. It hadn't been stolen. It had run away into the forest. But the astonishing thing was that a dozen more horses of the same breed came along with it. The news spread quickly, and people gathered, acknowledging the old man's foresight. You were right, they said. The loss of the horse was not a misfortune. It proved to be a blessing. Your luck has changed now. You can become a horse trader. But the old man remained calm and said, the truth is that 12 more horses have come with the horse. Whatever is, everything is fine. The rest will see what happens next. The old man's eldest son, eager to learn, started taming the wild horses. However, after just three days, tragedy struck as the boy fell from a wild horse, breaking his leg bones. People gathered again, expressing their sorrow. A lot of bad things have happened to you. Getting 12 horses was not a blessing but a curse. Your only son's leg is broken. How will he get married? The poor guy is unlucky. Despite the unfortunate events, the old man remained unaffected by people's words. He calmly stated, The truth is that the son has lost one leg. It is also true that now I have to help him in his old age. But whatever is, everything is fine. The rest will see what happens next. As time passed, a new challenge arose. The kingdom faced an attack from the king's enemies with a massive army. The king's army weakened due to the sudden assault, and all the youth of the state were forcibly taken into the army. However, the old man's son, with a broken leg, was spared. People gathered at the old man's house, tears streaming down their faces. You were right, they said. Your son's broken leg proved to be a blessing. He didn't have to go to war, but we are all very upset. Our children are gone, and we don't know if they will return. The old man, still undisturbed by people's words, shared his wisdom. First of all, understand the truth. The only truth is that your sons have gone to serve the motherland. Perhaps it was not your wish, yet they have gone. Whether it is a misfortune or a blessing, no one knows. He continued, until you people give up the habit of calling things good or bad, you will continue to be troubled. Why worry about fate? If you have to worry, then worry about your actions and thoughts. Keep living life happily. Profit, loss, luck, these are small parts of life. Just as you cannot understand an entire book by reading one line, 
Similarly, how can you decide whether life is good or bad based on one incident that is not in our control? Don't draw conclusions about small incidents in life. Instead, stay in the moment. Life is in this moment and stay happy. Keep doing your work. You don't have to pay attention to what people say, whether they're speaking good or bad about you. If you pay attention to what people say, your mind automatically starts getting restless. Therefore, focus on the important work of your life, which will always give you inner happiness. And so the old man's simple yet profound wisdom guided him through life's ups and downs, teaching those around him the valuable lesson of embracing the present moment and finding contentment within. Thank you for watching. Please like this video, click the notification bell, so you will be notified when we upload another video. Also comment and share your thoughts about this video in the comment section. You are blessed.